morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. 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 Welcome to today's show. It's your girl Paula, owner and founder of Brownstone Worldwide. Brownstoneworldwide.com. KCCR Radio the Brownstone. Brownstone News Services for podcasters and small radio stations. We got you covered. All right. Now, y'all, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have a challenge. A friend of mine and I were sitting down yesterday. He laughed me talking about all of the cool things that we remember we remembered doing when we were kids or some of the favorite recipes and stuff that we had when we were kids. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my coffee ready because why not? It's time for the news. It's time for us to get it popping first thing in the morning. So come on in. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to share this broadcast with your cousins, your friends, your family men, all of the folks, and let's get into it. Um, I'm going to grab my coffee first, but the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I am sharing this particular broadcast with everybody that is a part of the Brownstone. So let me go ahead and do that really quick while you all um, let other folks know that we are here. Uh, y'all, we are creating today, today, today. Y'all ready for this? This is so cool. I think it's cool. Okay. Uh, we are creating this morning. Um... What was I going to call it again? Sweet potato spice cookies. Yes, that's yes. I have a name for it. And so um, we're, we're going to create some pretty cool stuff over here. Hold on just a minute. Like I said, I'm trying to share this broadcast. Sweet potato spice cookies. Yes, that is what I am calling it. Sweet potato spice cookies. Let me remember that again. Sweet potato spice cookies. Sweet potato spice cookies. That's what we are making this morning this morning okay uh welcome to the day shift everybody good morning good morning we're gonna go ahead and get started but the first thing that i always like to do is i like to share <laughs> i like to share my broadcast to my other groups so that uh other folks can get into this so hang on just a minute and then i'm gonna go ahead and share it to couple of different places because this is why not right okay. and we're gonna look up one other I know what I'm gonna do here it is yay all right so we're good to go now I feel better now y'all let me show y'all what I did so I have my batter here so I was live on TikTok this morning and I made my um my batter of sweet potatoes. Uh, this is real sweet potatoes, y'all. I mashed them up manually, two of them for beast. Okay. And I also have my um, other recipes in here now. Of course, you know, I'm not going to share, share everything, but here's what I am going to do. Uh, we're going to make some drop cookies because that's really what these are. It's smooth enough to make drop cookies. But the first thing that we're going to do, let me get some news and information that you guys can use and let's get it popping. So let's turn this off and we're going to get into what's happening around the world from KCCR Radio. You ready? Ukraine denied that it was under Western pressure to negotiate with Russia, doubling down on its insistence that talks could be held only if Russia relinquishes all occupied territory. The remarks came days after a high-profile Washington Post report that the United States had encouraged Kiev to signal willingness for talks. They also coincided with U.S. midterm elections, whose outcome could test Western support for Ukraine. Voting rights advocates in key U.S. states said the first few hours of voting in Tuesday's midterm elections went smoothly with few isolated problems reported, including in the swing state of Arizona. One early issue occurred in Maricopa County, Arizona's most populous, where officials said tabulators were having tech issues in about 20% of its voting locations. 
Maricopa County Chairman Bill Gates and recorder Stephen Richard advised voters experiencing issues to put their ballots inside a secure box attached to the tabulators and assured they would be counted by bipartisan vote counters after polls close. Davis Richards reported. North Korea said it has never had arms dealings with Russia and has no plans to do so, its state media reported. After the United States said North Korea appears to be supplying Russia with artillery shells for its war in Ukraine. White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby said last week the United States has information that indicates North Korea is covertly supplying Russia with a significant number of artillery shells. Kirby said North Korea was attempting to obscure the shipments by funneling them through countries in the Middle East and North Africa. Israel's president said it has begun consulting with elected parties on Wednesday before tasking the candidates with forming a new government. The meetings began after President Isaac Herzog receives the official results of Israel's fifth election in less than four years. Once the president picks a candidate to assemble a new government, the nominee will have 28 days to talk to potential coalition partners, with a possible 14-day extension. The final tally published by the Central Elections Committee showed veteran leader Benjamin Netanyahu, who morning, is on trial yeah. over good corruption morning, good charges he denies, likely to receive the nomination and secure a comeback. Harry Michaels reporting. This is the latest news headlines. Authorities in Mississippi's capital city are in the hunt for a suspected arsonist who set several fires early Tuesday morning on or near around the campus of Jackson State University, a historically black public college. News outlets reported that seven overnight fires were confirmed by officials. At least two of the buildings were set ablaze were churches. Another one of the fires broke out on Jackson State University's baseball field. No injuries were reported. Authorities are searching for one suspect, according to Armin and the Jackson Police Department. Someone who bought a Powerball ticket in Southern California has won a record $2 billion Powerball jackpot after more than three months without anyone hitting the top prize, the jackpot ticket was sold at Joe's Service Center in Altadena, an unincorporated community in the foothills northeast of Los Angeles. The winning numbers were selected Tuesday morning, nearly 10 hours after the scheduled Monday night drawings because of problems processing sales data at one of the game's member lotteries. Lottery officials acknowledged the unprecedented delay for such a high-profile drawing but said the game's security process took precedence. A former Twitter Incorporated engineer has accused the company of firing him days after it was acquired by Elon Musk because he developed a tool to allow workers to save important documents in anticipation of mass layoffs. The engineer, Emmanuel Cornett, filed a complaint with the U.S. National Labor Relations Board on Monday, claiming he was engaged in protected activity when he shared the software on an internal Twitter messaging channel. A California man who claims skills are unfit for human consumption because they contain a known toxin has dismissed his federal lawsuit against Mars Incorporated, the candy maker. Janelle Thames voluntarily dismissed his case on Monday, according to a filing by his lawyers in Oakland, California. No reason was given for the dismissal, which was without prejudice, meaning Thames can sue again. And that's the latest news headlines. I'm Alan Edwards. All right, you guys. That is Alan Edwards. He's a part of the Corner family, um, and he provides us with news and information that we can use. So, y'all, let me tell you what I'm making this morning. Um, guys, this is sweet potato spice cookies. So, um, behind me are recipes that I'm going to be making, okay? So, I literally sit down and I write down. Oh, can y'all see that? And I write down all of the things that I want to make, right? And so I said, oh, it would be so cool. So friend of mine, we were sitting down and we were talking about all the cool things that we used to do and love to eat when we were, you know, Thanksgiving came around and stuff like that. And so um, he was like, oh, what about uh, this kind of sweet potato? I love sweet potato pie. I love this. I love that. Oh, I was like, oh, well, you know what? I love sweet potatoes too. How about this? Let's go ahead and see how many different ways I can make sweet potatoes. So today is what? Sweet potato spice cookies. That's first and foremost. So I'm making that and I started with fresh, not fresh, but it was canned. Okay. And I just uh, mashed them up real good and uh, went live on TikTok and talked to my audience over there. And then I came over here and now I'm getting ready to drop. I'm getting ready to drop my cookies um, into or onto um, my little cookie sheet. Y'all, my cookie sheet is old as dirt. Okay. So don't don't laugh, yeah. 
But uh, that's exactly what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to put my cookies into a um, into the oven. So the oven is preheated and all I'm doing is I'm taking out um, some, I'm dropping them. Like my mother used to call these drop cookies because that's basically what you're doing is you are putting the cookie onto your baking sheet, okay? My baking sheet needs love. So don't do me, don't call me out uh, or buy me one. How about that? Okay, so I've greased it down just a little bit and I'm putting my cookies directly onto my baking sheet. Okay, and that's it. All right, so again, these are, this is made really, really simple. Um, I did use some of my cinnamon nutmeg blend uh, in the uh, recipe itself, and this is from Brownstone Blends. Um, and then what we're going to do is just put a couple on here. Again, these are cinnamon, I'm sorry, not cinnamon. These are sweet potato spice cookies, okay? And um, we're going to see how these turn out. So what else am I going to be making with, oh, this one is too big. Let's go ahead and take that one back out. I don't like it like that. Okay, so we're going to put that one over there. And we're just... I cannot wait to see what these are going to be like, okay? They're probably going to have a house lit. Okay, so again, good morning, good morning to those of you all who are just now joining us on all of the platforms. I appreciate you. So once again, it's your girl, Paulette. I am here this morning trying to prove myself right that you can make a quick and easy uh, spice cookie. Um, it's not a ginger. It's not a ginger snap or anything like this. This is made with sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the oven. And um, let's, see, let's see what happens, y'all. Let's see what happens. So, again, these are um, sweet potato spice cookies. I'm putting them in the oven. The oven is preheated. Let's see how they do. See how they do. So, hopefully, by the time I finish the day shift, we would, we would at least have some cookies. How about that? How about that? All right. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning to those of you all who are just now joining. I am trying to figure out um, what. Hey, Cara. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? All right. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Let's go there. Let's go here. All right. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit because y'all know I also like to sit and talk to y'all. But uh, let's grab our coffee. Let's get to talking about what is in the news because why not? Okay. So that's first and foremost. So again, brownstoneworldwide.com. We get our news from there. Where else do we get our news? From all over the place. We do. Okay. And so um, I've got a big day ahead of me, but I wanted to definitely get you all some information that you could use. Are you all ready? <laughs> Y'all, this world is off the chain. I couldn't even come on here live. Listen, I'm good. Thank you, Kyra. Thank you for asking. Honey, better than I've been in years. Let's talk about that. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So um, let's see. So let's get into some interesting news. This is really interesting. Only black owned restaurant on New York City's island uh, receives racist hate mail. We surprised. I'm not. Michelle Williams' husband, Thomas, uh, is a wonderful father figure to Matilda. Okay, next. Um, let's see. Climate reparations are on the table in the Biden administration. What else do we have? Um, Y'all, don't forget, while we're talking about uh, what's happening and, and all of that, please do not forget that Friday is Veterans Day. Don't forget that. Okay? All right. Now, let's talk about some of the stuff that is the most important right now. Uh, and I mean, it's not real. Oh, y'all peppermint pie. Who's going to make some peppermint pie? Anybody going to make any little peppermint pie? Listen, I hope that that was Cara that gave me that, um, <laughs> that like, cause listen, it's a lot of things that, um, I could say, but the best thing is sometimes it's better to just sit back and watch it fall around you. Yes. Especially when you are, you are, um, not giving everything that you need. All right, so there was a mayor. Check this out, y'all. So a mayor running for election actually passes away in a car crash just hours before the polls close. This is really deep. So let me go ahead and check this out because this looks like, wow. All right, so y'all, some of this stuff you're going to find on brownstoneworldwide.com a little bit later. Um, so 
Nobody in the crash was wearing a seatbelt. Let's talk about that just a minute, okay? Nobody. So a mayor was actually running for re-election, passed away in a car crash on election morning, just hours before the polls were set to close, and the results were announced. The incident occurred shortly after 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday when the Louisiana State Police were notified. What just happened? That's okay. Okay, we're notified. Hold on, I just missed it. That is crazy. Of a crash involving two vehicles on US Highway 190. Okay, um, a preliminary investigation into the crash revealed that a male driver of Columbia, Louisiana was traveling south on Louisiana 741 in his 2015 Ram 2500 pickup truck when he reportedly failed to yield to the 2008 Acura RDX that was carrying 84-year-old Velma Hendricks. Yeah. And killed her. Okay? And she was running for a re-election for mayor. So let's also talk about Tropical Storm Nicole is actually um, coming through Florida right now. My daughter is in Florida right now in Tallahassee. And she's saying that the weather has definitely changed. So we're keeping an eye on that to see what they're going to do with the schools in the area. I know that the last hurricane that we had, what was it, Hurricane Ivan, I believe it was, um, she came home. Okay. And so this time it's a little bit different. Y'all, I'm excited because I want to see what these cookies are going to do. Okay. Okay. And if they do well, then I'm going to put that in the upcoming cookbook. So I want to share with you guys the first installment of several cookbooks that are coming. Okay. And this book, 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 book is the very first cookbook. I don't even know if y'all can see that because the light is so bright. Let me turn it down. Y'all, I'm always doing something. Okay. So this is A Month of Sundays. Yes. It's an actual book, y'all. It's an actual book. It's really slim. It's only about 30 pages, but it's one full month of Sunday brunch recipes that you can try. Okay. And uh, it's got pictures. And uh, yes, these are pictures of food that I actually thought. Okay. I thought I was doing a good job with the pictures, right? I thought. Okay. Um, so we actually took all of these pictures, um, and some of them were actually from brunches that I had been, y'all, there's a picture of my infamous Kool-Aid. Okay. So if you want your copy of this particular book, I'm going to be sharing this a little bit later. Um, it is available on, uh, Amazon right now. And, um, I will say that the person that took this photo, she did a bang up job. So shout out to Candace, uh, Candace Turner, Candace Jones for that um, she did a really great job taking that photo of me um and i didn't realize it but i was super sick during this time this was right before i lost my hair um but yeah really good book i if i say so myself but this particular recipe that i have in the oven i cannot wait to see what it, how it turns out all it is is sweet potatoes got the spices you got all of your dry ingredients and we put it together and we're making a really great cookie so we want i can't wait to see how it turns out um, let's see. Mm. So what's happening in the brownstone this week? Now, KCCR radio currently is playing nothing but, listen, listen, listen. It's playing nothing but Christmas music. Of course, there's the news with Alan Edwards, which is a part of our network. But what I want you guys to be fully aware of is beginning in January, beginning in January, we are migrating over to a 95% talk station. It will be talk. It will be podcasting. It will be tips. It will be information. It'll be news. It'll be politics. It'll be all of the things that you need so that you can go about your day. It's going to be topics that you're interested in, like money, like the Nicole Johnson. She's a part of the network with Girl Your Money Matters. We also have Marshawn Alanio, who is also a part of the network, and she has her show, which is called Love Restored. We also have the Carla Collins with Ear Hustle Radio. Of course, Colin Carey with Colin Corner, myself with my show, The Day Shift, and also, of course, The Sunday Brunch on Sundays. We also have Tony Williams, who handles his show, which is called The Eye of the Storm, and that is on Fridays, um, I'm sorry, Saturdays and Sundays. And so there are others that are coming into the fold, and I'm really, really excited about that. So I want you all to kind of pay attention to that um, as we get closer and closer and closer to the new year, because what we're going to be opening up our doors for very, very shortly is for those people who want to be a part of the Brownstone app where we're going to be doing nothing but podcasting, okay? It's still going to be KCCR. It's going to be KCCR, the Brownstone, um, and it's our turn to talk, 
Okay. It's our turn to talk. Just like we're changing the narrative with brownstoneworldwide.com. It's our turn to talk and tell our stories our way. If you want to be a part of that, I would encourage you to go ahead and uh, join us on brownstoneworldwide.com. When the website pops up, of course, there's going to be a pop-up window. Go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter and we're going to have information there. But of course, I'm going to be coming back. I'm going to be talking about what we're going to be offering in terms of our services and what we currently offer for podcasters and for other people who want to be a part of the network. We're doing big things here, y'all. And it might not look like it because there's so many things that we don't show you on the back end. At least I don't. I'm usually in my kitchen. But the truth of the matter is, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening outside of here. Okay. All right. So um, once again, uh, y'all, listen, I'm so proud of this little book. <laughs> I'm so proud of my little book. Okay. Um, and there's more to come because I am working on the next one. Right now, that particular cookbook has about 80 pages. I'm trying to get it to 130 to 200. Okay. So if I could get, if I could get to the 200 page range, page range I think I'll be good. Okay. So uh, I'm working on those recipes right now. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to know is this is a cookie dough. This is a cookie dough. It's a little moist, okay? And I'm going to share exactly how I made this sweet potato spice cookie, okay? This is a cookie dough, a cookie dough. We're just dropping the cookie dough onto a baking sheet. So I have about eight that are in the oven currently, and then I'll go ahead and make the rest of these and have these available for the family. What did I use to kind of give it that spicy flavor? Of course, I used brownstone blends. Right here, this is the cinnamon nutmeg sugar blend, okay? And, of course, you can go ahead and get yours um, available now. If you are currently using, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see this as well. One of the things that we have, I'm going to go see if, see if I can grab and do this really quick. Uh, when you go to, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. You go to mybrownstoneliving.com. And you'll use code SPICE at checkout for 20% off your order. And that's just on the spices by themselves, okay? You know, people don't try to, you know, well, why can't I? Because I said so. You know what's really interesting? <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it. Y'all going to stop acting like. Okay, there we go. There we go. So y'all going to stop acting like um, y'all can come into folks' business and tell them how to run their business. So this is the actual box itself. The boxes have changed colors this year. I'm going to be taking photos of those very shortly, uh, probably today sometime. But I wanted to share with you guys that if you go over to mybrownstoneliving.com and you use the code SPICE, uh, uh, code SPICE uh, for 20% uh, off. So I didn't even type that in right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Oh, let me see if I can edit it. Oh, that's a hot mess. I don't even understand code spice for 20% off your order. All right, let's do that. Off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, use code spice for 20% off at mybrownstoneliving.com. For your spices. Yes, honey. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, what I'm going to also do is um, I'm going to leave that up, okay? Y'all, I'm a little nervous because I want to see how this going to turn out. I want to see how this going to turn out. All right, let me go ahead and open up my window, my blind, so I can see outside. Oh, it's dreary. It's getting a little dreary out there. <laughs> little bit dreary, a little dreary. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in here. Let's go hang out for a little while. Welcome to the to the day shift. Uh, I'm just here giving y'all the news and information that you can use. Let's see what's updated so far. So um, I am really, really saddened by that. That is really interesting. So y'all, you know what wouldn't be a bad idea is if I made a peppermint pie? What if I made peppermint pie? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so... Um, Mm, nothing really good here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, let's see. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm scrolling through brownstoneworldwide.com, y'all, just in case you were wondering, like, what's going on? Okay, so. Um, y'all, 
Mike Pence, Donald Trump wanted to know if I was scared during the January 6th riot. Why would you ask somebody that? This dude is crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. This dude is off the chain. So the former vice president recalled the conversation with a tired looking Trump in the days after the U.S. Capitol violence in his new memoir. And he talks about how um, Trump wanted to know how he was feeling. So Donald Trump asked his then vice president, Mike uh, Pence, if he was scared during the Capitol riot at a meeting just five days after the violence in which some Trump supporters, um, let's see, gosh, which some Trump supporters built a gallows and chanted, hang Mike Pence. Pence wrote in his new memoir, see, uh-uh, that's crazy. Trump looked tired and his voice seemed fainter than usual during their conversation on January 11th. Um, and Pence wrote in his adapted ex excerpt, so help me God, that Wall Street Journal published on Wednesday. Trump asked about Pence, then second lady um, Karen Pence and their daughter uh, Charlotte Pence. I replied tersely that we were fine and told them told him that we had been to the Capitol on January 6th. He responded with a hint of regret. I just learned that. Um, uh, Pence recalled in his book put out on Thursday. So how you gonna how you gonna have your homeboy, somebody that you're supposed to be doing business with? How you gonna throw him under the bus? People do it all the time, y'all. They do it all the time. All right, so let's check the cookies. Hmm. All right. All right now. All right. We're we gonna see. We're we gonna see. We're gonna see. And if I need to modify, if I need to modify the um recipe, then I'll do that. We shall see. We shall see. Because something, something, something's not happening. And it might be how I drop them on the cookie sheet. So we shall see. All right. All right. So uh what are we doing today? We got a lot of stuff that's happening. Um, we are going to be introducing our podcast packages uh, probably by Friday. We'll be sending those out and you'll be able to join in. Of course, you're going to get an opportunity to learn all of the stuff that we do with the podcasting packages for KCCR, the Brownstone for 2023 is coming out this Friday. I want you guys to take a look at it and see where you fit. We have three different tier packages to choose from. You can get the smallest one or you can get the largest one where you're getting all of our services. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay. Um, also, brownstoneworldwide.com is um, still giving you the news and information that you can use. We are helping you to change the narrative on how we are seen. But see, that's the thing along with KCCR, the Brownstone too. We figured let's migrate over to uh, talk because it's time for us to tell our stories our way. And the best way to do that is for you to also hear the orators and to hear the griots tell their versions, tell their stories, get those stories is what I was told. OK, and so that's what I'm working on doing. OK, and so I uh, definitely wanted to give you guys that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for now because I got a ton of stuff to do today. I'm going to come back. I'm going to let you guys know how the cookies turned out. Go ahead and check out the Facebook reels and let's see what they look like. But again, this is just for today just for today that particular code you can go over to my brownstone living and use code spice for 20 percent off the order on brownstone blends okay i'm gonna go ahead and check these um sweet potato spice cookies that i just made and um, i'm gonna share the recipe with you guys a little bit later all right you guys enjoy the rest of your day i'm out of here it's your girl paulette i am at exactly 29 minutes 25 seconds one love your life it is the only one that you have two Live your life to the fullest and embrace everything that is your life. And lastly, breathe through every single moment because one breath becomes two, becomes three, becomes a day, becomes a week, becomes a month, becomes your life. And so there we are. I will see you guys later on today for Tips, Topics, and Talk. And tonight, tonight, tonight is Colin's Corner. We'll see you later.